Yeah, at ASU, we were a new program. This was eight years ago. Uh, we did everything we could to stay competitive in games, and we would get to a point where we, we had a game on our stick or we were real close in, in a tight situation, and the guy's stick was too long, and, and he would fan on it or, or misplay a puck or, or make a bad pass because of what I figured was the stick length. And with that, there was frustration with mounting losses for, for the new program. So the game that changed it all, we were playing against the University of Nebraska, Omaha in uh, 2015-16. They were a number five ranked team in the country. We were ranked, I think, 56 at the time. And we went there. We were playing well. And you can see the score here. It was one nothing. They're really good. It looks like about 19 minutes left in the second period. And we had this. All the guy had to do was corral that puck and, and, and put it in the back of the net. We would have tied it. And we knew from, from history that when you play teams like this and we and they were supposed to beat us and they were at home and they had all the advantages that they would tighten up and pucker up a little bit if, if we kept it close and even tied it. And so we knew that if we scored a goal like right here, we'd have a very good chance to win. Um, this was one of the players, I can't remember his name, but he refused to cut his stick. Uh, we talked about it a, a number of times, and you can see right here his, his, his elbow is way up, uh, his, his heel on his stick is way up, and all he has to do is be able to get this puck in close, it's near his feet, and, and finish it off, and he didn't do it. Now they're up 2 nothing, and we're on a power play, and here's another player that, that, that had a really, really long stick, almost up to his eyes, I think, if he was standing on his feet, um, uh, or even with the skates on, the, almost up to his forehead. And he just he tried to change. He couldn't do it. He didn't like it, didn't feel comfortable. But if he scores this goal on a power play, we, we cut it to 2-1 and we gain some momentum. He misses the net here and and, and we don't score. And then we, we end up scoring later. So this is 2-1 and this is in our zone. And this is with about seven minutes left. And... This kid was another one that just refused to cut his stick, and he was fanning on pucks all the time in a tight area. As you can see, he was not the, the, the tallest player, but he had a really long stick, and he missed this. It was an easy clear, and the guy in the background uh, for Omaha, number four, ends up going on and scoring, and, and they end up winning the game 3-1. to one. So Greg Powers, our head coach, as most of you probably know, he wasn't happy about this, and we, the, the losses were frustrating, and they were mounting, and um, we, we figured we needed to do something. So he wasn't happy. So he gave, that's me, uh, of course, bald head, you can tell. And, um, so marching orders were given to me and, um, I put together this PowerPoint. Now the thing about this PowerPoint is it's meant to be a little bit funny for our guys. And I show it to them every year at a retreat we do up in Flagstaff before we start the season, kind of a team building thing. So there's a lot of stuff, stuff in there. It's a little tongue in cheek. There's a little kind of a fun video at the end um, that just, just makes it humorous so they enjoy it. 